So apparently, if you search up the word liminal spaces on YouTube, you find some weird videos that you probably shouldn't watch. Apparently, these videos are very, very weird. They're creepy and they're very familiar. They make you feel like you've been there before. So that's what we're going to do. We're on YouTube right now. I've searched up liminal spaces. I'm not too sure what this even is, so I'm going to look into this. People tell me you should not watch these videos. This video says liminal spaces, but they gradually get more terrifying. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that I'm back in Illinois for a few days. That's why you see my old setup in these busted ass headphones. So apparently, this is supposed to be terrifying. Okay. Okay, so this is not scary at all. Um, okay, this isn't really scary. Uh, people say you're supposed to recognize these places. You're supposed to be able to recognize and feel like you've been here before, but I don't think I've ever been there before. Okay, so this bedroom's kind of familiar. It feels like something at grandma's house or something, you know, back in the day, back in 2009. I, I can't say I've been there before. Okay, I feel like I've been in a room like this, like in a little play place or something. Remember, the video says they gradually get more terrifying. So as this video goes on, there's gonna be more scary things. I feel like I've been on this row before. Okay, um, I don't think I've been there before. That is literally edited. Okay, that's very, this is creepy. This is becoming creepy. This is pretty creepy, just this room. Why would you have green carpet? That looks just like grass. Okay, I definitely haven't been there. That looks like Loot Lake off of Fortnite, bro. They put Fortnite in real life. Oh, I've been here before. I feel like we. I've been in this building before. Oh man, what the hell? Someone's house just broke down? I have never had my house be torn up by a tornado. But okay, what the heck is this? I have never been here before. What the heck is Big K? Big K? What? That is weird. Oh no, not the stairs, bro. Not the stairs. Come on, man. Okay, I've definitely not been there. So far, there, I have not felt like I've been to these places. Is there one place in this video that I feel like I've been? Bro, that looks just like my friend's old room at his house. What the? Oh my God. This one is creepy. Why would you even live there? If you paid me $1,000 a month to live there, I still wouldn't. So this video says uncomfortable, familiar childhood places, but it's sad. So this is what liminal spaces are. They're like places that you kind of remember. Okay, they have the definition. Look, it says a place in a photo that triggers bizarre feelings. Okay, so whenever you see these pictures, you'll get like a bizarre feeling. Yeah, that type of floor, that type of carpet. I, they always had those in arcades and stuff like that when I went as a kid. Okay, this looks like a hospital. Yeah, this is definitely like a hospital waiting room. I've been there before. This is like getting school supplies and stuff like that. Okay, what the, is this the old McDonald's? Most of you watching this weren't even old enough to remember when you could sit on the burger chair. What the f, I'm glad my library did not have that bear in the corner. I would not read, bro. I remember places like this. A bunch of kids would be in here. It'd be so sweaty and just smell like straight nickels and feet, bro. It was a good time though, somehow. I remember these freaking rugs, bro. I would take my little toy car and just roll around the rug. Dude, this was sick. Yeah, all these pictures are pretty much bringing back memories. Dude, this is like the skating rink. Or this was like the prize thing. Like when you would play the arcade games, you'd go and get your prize. Like for like 10 tickets or whatever, you could get a bunch of candies. For 60, you could get a slinky. I remember that, man. Oh my gosh. Have you ever been on one of these? This is sick bro one time though one time i'm going up this so look at this when you see this little thing it's like you walk up here and then you slide down on this side normally there's like water pouring down right so there's water and everybody's wet and it's outside pause so we're outside and everything you go up these and then you slide down here well i was going up this there's just a line of kids right just like one kid here one kid right here one kid right here probably like six kids going up this flight of steps someone fell and just tumbled every single kid down bro this is why i'm uncomfortable looking at this image I got trampled on a freaking bouncy house. I've literally had a birthday party in here. I promise. I had my eighth birthday party in this room. What the heck? Oh, not the book fair. Do people still do book fairs? If you were recently in like sixth grade, fifth grade, tell me, do you still do book fairs with like where you would go to school with your mom's money? She gave you $15 and you're just looking at all the books and you pick out the coolest book or you pick out like a poster of a Lamborghini or you pick the Guinness World Record book. They used to make these book fairs the best thing ever. I don't know if they still do it. I know this picture when I see it. This is Chuck E. Cheese's. This is Chuck E. Cheese's, bro. Chuck E. Cheese's would always have these big, like big, huge play places and then have arcade games right next to it dude i used to be in these freaking things just staring at people i would be right in here just staring at people like 
breathing on the glass like <laughs> oh my gosh this is bringing back memories of when i was so stupid so apparently this video is talking about how like these pictures bring back memories that never happened i i don't have any memories of this okay let's go to the next picture taco bell and a mountain i lived in illinois my whole life we don't have mountains so i don't really understand i've been walking like this before i remember in eighth grade me and my friend his name was scott we were walking to the gas station it was a Casey's gas station. We were getting some hot fries and some milk and some cookies, stuff like that. It was like 8 p.m., so it was really dark. And we didn't have cars because we were in eighth grade. Nobody wanted to take us, so we had to walk. It was snowy, but we were really hungry. We really wanted our hot fries. So we took this back route in his backyard. We went through a forest, and then we went up on some train tracks, and we were hiking through this freaking freezing forest for like five minutes. It was pitch black just to get those freaking hot fries, man. This is exactly what that looks like. Yeah, these are very weird. Weird. Wait, they have these things in VR? No way. I can just look around. Look at this. I can look around. Why am I moving? No way they do these liminal space things in VR. Oh my gosh. Now I'm in a house. I'm in a house. Why do I feel like I'm actually here? Okay, we're outside the big K. You remember that freaking thing? What the heck? I'm inside the freaking store. What the f- I'm done.